How's it going everybody? Rich from Mary Roth Enterprises here. Uh, back with another top 10 video. Um, I think a month or two back I did a top 10 worlds, I, new worlds I'd like to see in Kingdom Hearts 3. So I figured why not do a top 10 uh, returning worlds from previous games that I'd like to see in Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, now, it's not looking so good for returning worlds, honestly. Um, I think the only one that's kind of back is Hercules and that's totally different. Usually it's like the Colosseum. The underworld, maybe a coliseum, but now it's like just I think the pure open world of the movie. Um, I think I might have even heard that there's not going to be any returning worlds. Um, I personally hope that's wrong because uh, there's a lot of old worlds I'd like to see come back with new stuff going on, or just you know bigger and, and better graphics and all that. Especially because some of them were in games that I guess couldn't have as much going on, like in the poor games and all that. So it'd be nice to see some of them kind of get the new gen treatment. But, you know, this is just hypothetical, what I'd like to see. I don't really know what's likely or not. Uh, normally I do, I do honorable mentions, but for this one, me, just doing a straight top 10. All right, so here we go. Number 10, Sleeping Beauty, or Enchanted Dominion. This world was in Birth by Sleep. Uh, was that the only time the world's been in the game? Uh, it had like kind of neat, very kind of haunting atmosphere. I think partially because it was so empty. <laughs> but no, um, it was really kind of a, uh, neat somber world and it's like I think um, it looks like Maleficent's back thankfully hopefully you'll actually get a fighter this time on like Kingdom Hearts 2 so I'd like to say maybe this is kind of where you know the last stand where Maleficent could be in her own world which I think would be pretty cool um you know it'd be cool I mean Crowns of Sleeping Beauty I think is just not really much more to expand upon I thought there was any sequels or anything like that or any other villains so um basically just kind of stuck with what, what you can work, work with for Birth by Sleep I guess uh, one of the things with Birth by Sleep is the world's kind of different depending on which character you chose, but since it's probably just Sora, possibly this time, you know, the world can just be, uh, I think you basically take how it was in all three of those, all three of their stories and just, that, that would be how it would be for Sora, which I guess would be kind of neat. And obviously it's like the game is kind of doing where they have the, the main villains appear in the, uh, worlds anyway, so even if it's not just Maleficent, you have one of the new organization members in it. Okay. So... Number nine, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, this has always been one of my favorite worlds in the Kingdom Hearts games. Probably more so in one, but it was still okay in two. Um, it's always been like a really cool, um, differently aesthetic world with uh, really nice backgrounds and fun things to do. But um, one of the reasons it's so low on this list is because it's, first of all, it's been in a lot of the games. So it's kind of like, you know, wearing out the welcome a little bit. And secondly, it's like, I don't really know what more they can do with it. Um, I actually think it would be really cool. I know it would be sort of, I guess, messing with the canon of the movie, if, or if we even really care about that at this point. Um, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, you know, you saw the, uh, like the trees that had entrances to like different holiday worlds, like, you know, he goes into the Christmas one. Um, it would be kind of cool if maybe they kind of made up what some of the other ones could look like. Uh, I'm curious to see what the Thanksgiving world would look like. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I think that would be kind of a way to add some freshness to it. All right, so number seven, uh, Neverland. Uh, Neverland was one, I think, in my opinion, one of the coolest worlds in Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh, it also made appearances in uh, Birth by Sleep and days, I'm just calling it days, <laughs> um, which, you know, you saw different parts of Netherland in those. I think it would be kind of cool if, you know, now we could just take how it's been in all those games and just kind of put it in one world. Um, I mean, the flying aspect is honestly one of the coolest aspects with it, but yeah, I guess that's another world where it's like, I don't really know what else more you can add. It's more about just kind of taking what you have in the past and putting it together. So, let's see, not much more to say with that one. Uh, I guess it would also depend if, you know, Peter Pan's a summon or not. If he's a summon, it probably means not going to be in like you know Kingdom Hearts 2 or something there was no never land in that okay so number six okay uh Hunchback of Notre Dame world or I forget what it was actually called I'm sorry it was some like French name I forget word yeah some French name <laughs> I'm sorry but um uh, this world was only in Dream Drop Distance and it was probably one of the coolest worlds partially because of the music but I think the um the design of it the atmosphere was really cool um, again, like, 
Well, you never really got to fight Frollo. So that could be something they change. I forget if he, I guess, died at the end of it or not. Um, that could be something maybe he gets like heartless powers or powers from the organization. Uh, that is one good thing about the organization seeming to like kind of playing a part in each world is that like, uh, even if they don't have their villain, they can still have a villain for you to fight. I mean, I hope that's not the case and you do at least fight the Disney villain and they just make up some weird way you can fight him. I know he's not a very physical villain, but even still, I'm sure there's something you can come up with. Um, but yeah, I think it's just, you know, kind of take out all the dream, dream drop distance, spruce it up a bit more, add a bit more, you know, get, give a, uh, put in a Frollo fight or something, and there we go, call it a day. And keep, keep the music or remix, because the music was awesome. Okay, alright, uh, number five, Land of Dragons from Mulan. Uh, this world was only in Kingdom Hearts 2, and it was, it was one of the first worlds, uh, and it was, I really liked it, um, it was definitely, I think, a good starting world. I actually think it would be cooler to see if it maybe it was a later world, so maybe there's could be a, a bit more to it. Maybe there'd be harder challenges. You know, I forget if there was a Mulan sequel or not. I don't think there was. But if there was, it wasn't anything crazy. Uh, so again, like, mm, probably gonna have to make some stuff up. That's the only, you know, I think it's one of the issues, issues that's kind of hurting it. Yeah, I'd really like to see it done, you know, uh, in modern gaming now. Yeah, I think it's better with that one. You know, cool world of Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 2, I'd like to see, see back. All right. Number four, uh, Space Paranoids from uh, Tron. This world was, I think, it was maybe my favorite or one of my favorites in Kingdom Hearts 2. It was just so cool, the aesthetic. I'll be honest, I've never seen the original Tron. I'm sorry, I know that's probably a crime. Um, I did see Tron Legacy, sort of. I mean, I wasn't, like, totally paying attention. It was, I was on a bus on a trip and it was on the screen on the, the little TV <laughs> um, and uh, it's interesting because um, Kingdom Hearts 2 had you know Tron the original and then Dream Drop Distance had you know the one from Tron Legacy and the cool thing is uh, Sora actually acknowledges Tron you know remembering him from Kingdom Hearts 2 and how he was then and now he's like kind of this you know sort of silent brainwashed uh, program or whatever which I thought was pretty cool like they're kind of combining the movies or mixing them together and I think um, I feel like since Tron wasn't really turned back to his original self at the end of that one maybe this one could kind of tie that together and I think it would be kind of cool to see kind of a mix of the atmosphere from how it was in the original movie from Kingdom Hearts 2 mix of how it was in Tron Legacy and maybe even having some of the characters together like I know you have the characters from Tron Legacy but you could have like uh, I guess the villains from the original like Commander Sark and the, ma the Master Computer or something I forget what his name was, but big, you know, square head thing. Uh, but, you know, Tron coming back would be awesome. Um, I don't know how likely it is, but it, I would definitely appreciate it. Number three, Pride Lands from Lion King. Um, this world is pretty cool. I, I think, I feel like Lion King is, you know, it's a pretty big Disney, Disney movie, and it is a shame it only got to be in one game so far. I think it definitely deserves to be in at least a second game, and I know there are, like, sequels and stuff, and, you know, you're shy. You could do some stuff with that. Um, probably take aspects from both the first and sequels or spin-offs, but I forget, it was like one with Timon and Pumbaa, one with like, I think, their son or something, not Timon and the son, Simba's son. <laughs> um, oh, I should also clarify, I'm sorry, I forgot to say this, uh, this list is only going to be Disney-related worlds, um, because I think, uh, I think like, Raging Garden is going to be back in the game, probably, or Hollow Bastion, whatever you want to call it. Uh, like some of the last, you know, maybe like Twilight Town or something will be back, but yeah, I think actually it's already been confirmed, I forget. But anyway, sorry not to go off subject, um, I know it's kind of late to mention that, but um, uh, you know, Pride Lands was a really cool world. I think the biggest downer with it was that you couldn't use drive forms. I guess they just didn't want to, I guess they didn't want to give, um, Sora kind of a drive form designs for his lion form, which I, I guess I can understand it takes, and it may be harder to, um, from the whole two keyblades, because a lot of them, he, he, he uses two keyblades, but that I think is, um, it was definitely the biggest downfall of it, not even the world itself. Um, I think maybe they could, if they fix that, that would be so cool, being Lion Sim, Lion Simba, <laughs> Lion Sora, we don't two key, we don't two key, wielding two keyblades, I mean they have like dogs and stuff doing some games and anime and stuff with like wielding two blades in their mouth, I'm sure they can do it with Sora, but um, yeah, I think that's it for that one. Uh, so moving on to number two, 
uh, Beast's Castle from Beauty and the Beast. Now, um, there's definitely some bias here because uh, Beauty and the Beast was um, my favorite, or at least one of my favorite Disney movies growing up. So obviously seeing it represented again would be great. Uh, it was a really nice world in Kmart. It had some really cool atmosphere, just really nice design. Uh, some of my favorite boss fight, you know, the Heartless bosses you fight, which I think too. My favorite Heartless, well, I guess they the same thing, sort of just different forms. Um, the Zaldan fight was annoying, but awesome. You know, he's one of my favorite organization members. So he, so yeah, I think, and I think one of the, one of the biggest flaws of the Beauty and the Beast world is it's kind of lacking a certain villain. Uh, Gaston, you know, I, no one apparently misses games like Gaston. <laughs> Sorry, I can resist. Um, and I think it would be cool to finally actually see him and maybe fight him. I know he's not like the most like, powerful Disney villain, but he is at least someone more physical, unlike Frollo. I mean, he's basically kind of like Clayton from Tarzan. You fight him, even if he was mostly on a Heartless all the time. You'd have him be on a Heartless or something. And if you don't want to use Gaston, I don't know if anyone remembers this, but there's like this, um, Beauty and the Beast, like, spin-off Christmas movie, and the villain was, this, the, was like, the guy, I guess he, he played the organ for the, um, the castle, I think his name was Maestro, and, uh, he turned into the, you know, he, he was turning into this, like, big, like, CGI organ, and he was, I guess, the main villain of that movie. I actually think kind of cool if it was, he is a boss fight, like, an extra boss fight or something. I know that movie's not really canon or whatever, but are we really gonna argue that in this case? So that's something else they could add. But I would definitely like to see Beast Castle return. It was, it was in like two games. It was in days, but it was just basically kind of a rehash in, in the days on like, uh, you know, Neverland was well, from King Hearts 1 in days. Okay, so moving on to the number one, one pick. Gotta do the drum roll. Pirates of the Caribbean, or uh, Port Royal. Uh, Port Royal was probably one of the coolest and I think most um, diverse worlds in Kingdom Hearts 2. Partially just because of, I guess, you know, the, the look and atmosphere, you know, usually it's like the characters are very cartoony, but now they're more gritty and realistic. I, I do like Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, it's not like one of my favorite Disney movies, but I do like it. I think, you know, it's definitely one of the more serious Disney movies you can have in this. Um, and I think one of the biggest reasons um, why I'd like to see it come back, first of all, well, you know, it's only been in one game period. That's definitely a big reason. And um, secondly, it came out, I think, um, I think it was after the first movie, but maybe before the second, or maybe it was just re too close with the second. Uh, so you didn't really get to have any of the stuff um, past the sequel, or past the original. And I feel like, compared to most Disney movies, it has a lot more sequels to work with. Now, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna argue, you know, the quality of the movies or anything like that. I'm just talking about what you can take from them. Like, I think it would really be cool if, like, Davy Jones, Blackbeard, or I guess maybe the uh, guy from the new one that uh, uh, Javier Bardem played. I forget his name. Um, but uh, you know, I think there's a lot. I think there's a lot to work with there, and I think the game, the, the, the world's only gotten one chance to be in a game. I think it'd be even crazier and even more stuff to work with, given the, the you know the, the more advanced um, console and just all the other movies you can take from. I think it definitely definitely should come back. I, I think. If none of these come back, if at least Pirates of the Caribbean came back, that would be cool. And maybe like, I don't know, like Tron, or be, you know. <laughs> it, it, definitely more of the worlds that didn't really get as much of a chance to be in games should definitely come back, like Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. You know, I just kind of wanted to, this was, I guess, more of a, I want to try to make this more of a quick one that I usually do. I know I sometimes go on and on. But uh, yeah, you know, let me know if you agree with these worlds, with the, these choices, if there's uh, other worlds you'd like to see come back. Um, you know, like the video if you like it, uh, dislike it if you dislike it, uh, subscribe if you like, that'd be really cool. Um, don't forget to check out Mark Yarn in the description below, and as I always say, another time, another place, keep being awesome.